Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Solomon Jagwe. Uh, thank you so much for your support and for liking my videos and the tutorials. I love the feedback that I'm getting from you guys. So today we're going to be uh, looking at the DAS to Blender bridge. And I've been sharing uh, you know, some thoughts on how awesome this is. And it really is uh, an incredible thing that has been you know, added to the DAS 3D uh, I guess universe, but it's it's important for you to uh, understand the value of why this is actually important in your workflow. Um, does Studio and does 3D by nature? They provide really really good content, and they make it possible for you, even when with a small budget, to start a short film, bring it to life using the content that you see here and usually i just go through the i just type in search and look for sci-fi and you get this incredible array <laughs> of environments and characters that you can include right so you don't have to model anything from scratch if you don't want if you don't have the uh, ability to do it if you have an idea and you're a filmmaker and you're trying to tell a story this is a good place to start and later on when you get uh funding and maybe you get a uh, uh, into uh, your studio gets much bigger then you can definitely invest in hiring people who can actually model all these things you know and some of these people here could actually be, end up becoming one of your employees but what's really cool is the environments are well done well textured the models are already rigged and ready to to be animated so what this bridge does uh is <laughs> no pun intended but what the bridge d will do for you is it will help you take your character from uh, DAS Studio into Blender and since Blender is free and is powerful it already has a rigging system uh, effects you know special effects and particle system cloth system all those things you can take advantage of these two free programs so you, they've made it possible for them to work together and the way it works is you get this uh, plugin and install it on your computer using uh, you can even use Daz Central, which is uh, an, another addition that they make for uh, f available for free. Install it, and it will show up here. So I have uh, Daz to 3ds Max and Daz to Maya, and Daz to Blender. And I'll be doing another tutorial for Daz to Maya. Uh, some insight. So we have Daz installed, right? So if I go into Daz Studio up at the top, if you install it properly, it will show up as a script one of the scripts here and as you can tell blender has been added and now i can use it and so the one thing that has been tricky is that once you get to blender when you start blender i'm gonna open blender right now it's supposed to show up on this little shelf right here and i'm actually i'm using blender 2.91 the alpha version so once this becomes you know a full-fledged build you, you'll be able to use the same thing but i think 2.83 is also it's compatible with that because i've already tested in it but when you install the plugin it's supposed to show up on this little shelf right here and so the instruction is you're supposed to go to uh, uh, edit here into preferences and then search for does but when you do that when you search for does nothing shows up and there's a reason why because there's a step that you still need to do the script or plugin has been installed on your computer but uh, blender doesn't know where it is so you have to add it in so what you do is you go to your uh, the local drive on C you look in your users folder the uh, the username and then type in update data in roaming blender foundation and then blender and then click on does uh, add-ons and if i go up one level you can actually see it here i go up one level one level so this is what you're looking for right here blender blender add-ons and click on that right copy that link go into uh, your preferences in blender and this is again i'm using 2.91 but it also works for 2.83 click on preferences and then uh, under add-ons so you need to click on install and then up at the top here select 
and then control V or paste, press enter, and then you'll be able to find it. That's how you're able, you're able to install this uh, add-on for Blender. And then click install. And once it installs, you show you see it show up on the shelf right here. So I'm, I'm not going to speed up the video so you can see how long it takes. And so it has installed. And so it won't automatically show up. Sorry about that. It won't automatically show up, but it will show up now when you search for does, you know, to Blender. It will show up now. You can activate it and then it shows up here on this uh, the shelf. Now you can close this. So when you start Blender next time, this little thing will, I mean, it <laughs> little thing, it will show up uh, on this tab right here. And if I minimize that and bring it back up, click. so here it is, you click on import new Genesis reprint. So let's go back to Daz. And this is the a character, it's a sci-fi character that I'm going to take to Blender. It looks really nice, it's fully rigged textures look great and you can even customize as, as as much as you want you know it has props it, you know there's wardrobe that you can add on so all these things do do it at this stage before you press the button to so go to scripts up at the top and make sure this is selected don't make sure <laughs> sometimes there's one time i selected the camera and i thought it, it wasn't working so make sure the character is selected and then go to scripts up at the top and actually, before we go, let's look at uh, real quick in, in, in NVIDIA. You see what it looks because I want you to see what it looks like in uh, Blender once you turn on Cycles. So uh, I usually let this run uh, to help users see uh, how it looks, you know, because if you don't see, you, you, I think it's important for you to, to get the full process so you're not frustrated thinking that it, something is not working. Okay, so this is what it looks like in here looks great right so i'm gonna turn off make sure you turn off in <laughs> nvidia iray I, I made a mistake earlier of not doing that so click on textured mode okay and now we can go to scripts bridges blender does to blender click on that Oh, so it's saying you have to have a Genesis 8 or Genesis figure. So, well, sorry, unfortunately, we won't be able to use this character. So let me load a different figure. It's delete the Android. I was really looking forward to taking the Android, but no matter. Let me actually try a character that I've already saved. It will save us some time. And I'll let it run through so you get a sense of how long it takes. Okay, so the character is loading. And this one, I've already added the clothing. I've already added the shoes and the hair. So she's ready to go into uh, Blender. And I think just like I did before, uh, let me... Let's go to... Let me switch real quick to NVIDIA so we see what the color character looks like. Because uh, I want to do a comparison to see what it looks like using Cycles and what it looks like in uh, NVIDIA Array. So this is what the character looks like right now. Looking beautiful. Skin looks great. And the hair looks great as well. Okay. So let's take let's take this to Blender and see how well this uh, the bridge works in sending uh, converting all the textures, the uh, tier lines and all that. So again, turn off your Nvidia Array. Uh, let's switch to textured mode and go back to scripts. Make sure the character is selected. Blender does to Blender. Make sure you select the sub D zero and click accept. and accept so we'll let it run through the process and while it's doing that i can go back to 
over here so we can take a, just a, a quick browse of some of the cool things so one of my favorite uh, creators is uh, stone mason he makes these incredible you know sci-fi environments and uh, there's so many others in here that make incredible environments so uh, even if you've created your own character you know you could actually bring it in and use those environments so like if you're working in blender and you need like a quick sci-fi environment this is a good place to start and i mean you can see even the prices so you can imagine if you took you wanted to model something like that it will take you a long time just to get a concept of the ground so maybe you're trying to pitch your idea to a, like maybe netflix or even uh, disney plus right this is a good place to start and not being not have to do from scratch all right let's go back and see so it's done and now we can go to blender and right now it's the file from does is actually in a temp folder somewhere hanging out waiting to be imported so make sure you don't close anything just yet until that process is done and then you have to click save save the scene so click import new genesis and then let's see click import genesis all right let's wait for it again i'm gonna let it this run so that you get a sense of how long it takes so right now let's see mm -hmm. still going I'm just gonna let it run so you get an idea of how long it takes I won't speed up the video I am itching to go back to does to show you some more environments over there <laughs> that's 3d but it's done okay so this is great and man when I first started out in blender I was frustrated because I didn't I didn't know how to do the navigation so i make sure it uh, i chose stand, uh, the interface to and the, the navigation to be standard compatible rather yeah standard compatible so it's compatible with the the standard the industry standard all right so the character is in here and it comes with a, a rig so for example if i click on uh, it's still doing something because the cursor is hasn't given up yet <laughs> okay uh, okay here we go blender is doing something waiting 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 and as i always say you know this these things sometimes depend on how fast your machine is and uh, i also recommend that you don't start off with the ev and uh, cycles enabled just let it be like just a standard shader uh, because if you do that then it's going to start try to render unfortunately so right now it's uh processing because i, I think i did that i did what i said you shouldn't do <laughs> but there it is <laughs> how about that guys so this is what the character looks like isn't that beautiful you know and this is blender this is blender my gosh and so you have a f two free programs that are both powerful now ha being able to communicate with each other with the does to uh, blender bridge and this is really really cool so that that was the test i wanted to show you um how it works and making sure that uh, when you install it don't think it's just gonna show up right away in our uh, preferences here you have to make sure that you browse to that uh, folder and then find that zip file so this is a very extremely important if you want it to work in blender so i hope that was helpful guys uh, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and uh, click like support my channel i appreciate the support and please share feel free to share and i welcome comments if you're using blender I would love to hear from you. I'm fairly new to Blender. Uh, I remember what the days of uh, True Space. That was like really the first 3D program I, I started working with that was free. And then now Blender is came on the stage and offers, you know, artists and especially indie developers and storytellers 
indie storytellers and filmmakers a chance to have like powerful features but within a free you know platform so again does 3d does studio has is powerful in its own way and the cool thing is that you're able to take these models from does into blender and use cycles you can even use a uh, octane because they made a, an octane version for that so in my next video i'll try to do some more insight into how to render using octane in blender and also do a comparison with the ev but uh that's our test for today thank you thank you thank you so much uh, please don't forget to subscribe i'll uh, see you later